What is up, people? We're here to review the Wolfenstein, the new order. Oh, there we go. Um, so you come here to give my to give my opinion on the game, and let me say this game's awesome. Very, very, very good. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit you guys, I guess, up with the cons first, and then we'll head in. Mm, we'll just hit it as we go. So you play the role of B.J. Blaskowitz. I, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. That's my bad, but... And it starts off where... I don't want this necessarily to be a spoiler. This is pretty much spoiler-free, because if you look at the achievements, basically you're going to play through down through two timelines. One with a guy named Ferguson, and one guy named Wyatt. And you will choose which of the following you will save, and which one will die. And you'll play down that timeline however you want to. Um, to me, I went down the Ferguson timeline because I don't like Wyatt. I think he's a baby. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Um, and then you will try to stop the Nazis. So, um, yeah. That's basically the main story. And you will have, like, safe a safe house that you will, like, I guess, periodically go into. So I do enjoy this game a lot. So let me hit you head up with a few cons of the game. Mashing X to pick up everything. Originally, when I read IGN's review, I thought, really? It shouldn't be that big of a deal. But it's just, with all the guns you have, you just keep hitting X, 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 X. You need help. Ah. Gotta keep hitting next. Gotta keep hitting the armor. Gotta get everything. And it's, it, it does become quite annoying. Um, one thing, again, is not enough enemy types. I found that there's only the mechs, uh, the armor dogs, and then the ground soldiers, which is relatively quite bland. And I think that's a bit of a problem. Um, one thing I do also have to say is... Um, the incapability... Uh, the length was a... In, uh, before I get any more into the review, is that Wolfenstein, the New Order, does not even bring you anything really revolutionary. It brings you fun, addictive gameplay that's awesome. That's what makes this game fantastic to me, is that it's fun and it got a great storyline and got great characters all around to make you feel interested into the story. Um, but the length, yeah, depending on how you play it, I mean, if you play both timelines, I don't know if it really is a difference. I think just maybe a few cutscenes, a few little bit of dialogue, but I don't think anything really, of two different timelines. So I don't hold me to that. Go look at someone else's review for that. But, um... One thing else is that it's very, very great, like, inventory of weapons that you get to have is so cool. You get to have, like, a laser, like, a sniper rifle, and then that becomes, like, a laser rifle... And then you got the two assault rifles, two, like, automatic assault shotguns. And then they have, like, upgrades, like a shrapnel mode for the shotguns. You have uh, a grenade launcher attached to the uh, assault rifle. The basic sniper becomes into a, uh, I guess, a, uh, like, a laser rifle. And then you have the laser hawk that takes down mechs really, really, really well. Um, yeah. Um... I love the world around you is really, really well done. Um, and then, uh, also, one thing that I really love about this game is the perk system. The perk system is very, very, very awesome. It's so amazingly well done where you do this sort of thing and then you get the perk. So I really, 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 really encourage people to, like, play, get all the perks, because it just makes your guy the ultimate badass. Um, and then Machine Games. 
I beg of you, I beg of you to make a stealth game. The stealth in Wolfenstein The New Order is amazing to me. I love it. It's fun. So awesomely fun. Oh, so good. So good. Um, the characters around you, I've specified that the ki the villains of the game, yeah, there's like, I would say like two or three villains, and you, they're so fun. They're like awesome, the, you get it like, and I love the levels, it's just this game is overall a very, very, very well done game. Um, gameplay is awesome. Gameplay is fun. It's addictive. It makes you want to play it. And then, um, the story's great. I mean, it's pretty well crafted. So, what else can I say really more about Wolfenstein The New Order that I really haven't already said? So, we'll go ahead. Uh, the con side. It's short for some. Uh, I won't really, that's, I'm not going to take anything off of that because it's, well, I got like 15, 16 hours into the game, so it's pretty well. I think I got like, like main story without grinding, I think the Xbox said I put like a total of 14 hours and I'm going to assume I probably put in two hours grinding for perks. Just intentionally dying to get these perks because I love them. Um... So you, you put in about 12, 13 hours, I think, and then you could probably double that if you played through the both storylines. So in total, they give you like 26 hours. So that's re really well. I'm going to put that on the pro side. Or you, you can differ how you want it. I mean, I just don't know if it's a different storyline. If there's a different storyline, then you get 26 hours, and that's awesome. Um. Uh... Then I would say uh, another con is the uh, not enough enemy types and then the X. Just mashing X to pick up everything. I would much rather just walk over something and it be it automatically given to me. Just a personal preference. Um, and so... Yeah. This game's fun, it's addictive, and then on the pro side, you got great uh, gunplay, and then also the dual wielding is fun. It's so awesome, and it's pretty well done in my opinion, that it just be one reticle, and that's where both guns are hitting. I really, really think that's really good. I, I do enjoy it. Um, so... Again, great dual wielding, uh, great story, great characters, great environment, fun gameplay, great uh, great story, uh, awesome amount of weapons, cool upgrade system, awesome perks, great stealth system. So the pros definitely outweigh the cons here, guys. I highly recommend Wolfenstein The New Order. Before I get to my uh, uh, final score, look out for the Watch Dogs review. Uh, no podcast this week. This is my podcast because I can finally review with you guys and get some, you know, just back to me and you guys. Um, so that's pretty much it. And Wolfenstein, the new order, gets it. Eight out of ten. I highly recommend it. It's pretty awesome. So the X and relatively... Um, Bad, like, I don't want to, they're not bad enemy types, it's just that it kind of just, they need more. And I think that could really ch change the combat to a whole bunch. So that's my personal opinion on it, guys. Wolfenstein New Order gets an 8 out of 10. Highly recommended. And I don't, without spoiling anything, there, there's still a lot that goes else into giving it an 8. Because people may be sounding like, oh, this sounds like a 9 or maybe even... A 9.5, or I don't do give, give have ratings, but, uh, or at least I try not to. I really strafe towards, uh, 
giving it a whole rating. Because I don't... No, I'm not going to get into it, but... Um... So... Yeah, uh, there's a few story things that I don't really honestly like. That's why I gave it an 8. There's some, like, really kooky, like, kind of dumb things that went into it. But overall, the game gets an 8 without spoiling anything. Those are some gameplay mechanics I don't like, and then a few story things. Um, but overall, Wolfenstein The New Order is a highly recommended game. I think you should be, you should have played it. And so, look out for the podcast probably next week if there's any news. I do it when there's a lot of news to cover on comics, gaming, uh, uh, wrestling, and... Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Anime is kind of just a, kind of a lost cause. I don't watch this this season anime, as my friend likes to say it. I don't watch cunt. I just pick something I like to watch, and I watch it. Um. So, yeah, that's basically it for this one, guys. I will see you guys for the Watch Dogs review, definitely. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. It helps me a, a lot. Uh, leave down in the comments what you guys thought of the game. Um, tell me what you liked, disliked, and that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the future, and peace. Take care.